I would like to thank Ben Jeber and Kim for that wonderful song offered to God this morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Let us praise God for His goodness that He has given us another year to serve Him and to touch others' lives. I'm aware that I will be speaking for 10 minutes only. So I'll begin by telling a story. In the year 2002, I was called to be one of the instructors in College of Theology at NLAC. Having in the field for 13 years, it was a struggle for me for the first semester. So almost at the end of the semester, I approached our former treasurer in Northern Luzon, Advent, uh, Northern Luzon Mission to take me back to work as a district pastor. But he told me, you are already there. Be patient. God will use, God will use you there. I was inspired to go on because in the final examination, when I checked the papers of my students, one of my bright students among the students have written a little note in the examination paper. Thank you, sir. Now I have understood the gospel. Can you give me more time to have Bible studies? And that student, I gave Bible study, and later on, he was baptized. A former Methodist leader, young people, now an active worker of our church. So they say. Why it's not working now? Touching just one life is the most significant thing any human being can achieve. According to Lawrence Richard, Touching just one life is the most significant thing any human can achieve. Ellen G. White augments this when, he say, when she says, The true heart expression of Christ-like sympathy, given in simplicity, has power to open the door of hearts that need the simple, delicate touch of the Spirit of Christ. I would like to dwell on two texts, two verses this morning in the book of Joshua. I am richly blessed through the readings of this book. So the Lord was with Joshua in his fame was noise throughout all the country. And Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that overlived Joshua in which he had known all the works of the Lord that he had done for Israel. So the Lord was with Joshua. The Bible, both in the Old and the New Testament, is richly, frequently used the word, so the Lord was with Joshua. So the Lord was with Joseph. So the Lord was with Abraham. And it means God has fulfilled this promise to Abraham, I will be with you. God has fulfilled His promise to Moses, I will be with you. God has fulfilled His promise to Joshua, I will be with you. So the Lord was with Joshua, and His fame was noise throughout all the country. God's presence makes us famous. Do you think? God has blessed EUP. When we were walking with my daughter here, he was so inspired to see in the tarpaulin the results of the examinations of the board exam on every line of our educational field here. Top six, top one, very famous. Joshua was famous also in his time. He was the one who led Israel in crossing the river of Jordan. He was famous when after marching with his fellow Israelites seven days, seven times without stop, the wall of Jericho fell down. He was so famous. But one thing that I want to emphasize, what makes most Joshua famous, so the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame was noise throughout all the country because of this. And Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua, 
and all the days of elders that overlived Joshua, and which had known all the works of the Lord that he had done for Israel. He was famous in doing the will of God. If, we, if there's one thing for us to be famous, our workers of God, is to be famous in doing the will of God. God will not place with anything less than the best we can offer. Those who love Him with all the heart will desire to give Him the best service of the life. And they will be constantly seeking to bring every power of their being into harmony with the laws that will promote their ability to do His will. And we must enter heaven here below or we shall never enter heaven hereafter. Right here on this earth, we must begin to live the life of Christ. And then it will be a heaven to you and it will be heaven to those who associate with you. In context, as we associate with our students for this semester, we will touch their lives. As, at, and at last, you will see the king in his beauty. You will behold his matchless charms in touching the golden harp. Fill heaven with rich music in songs to the Lamb. It is my prayer this morning, fellow workers, that we will allow God to use us to touch the lives of our students, and we will prepare ourselves and our students to our heavenly home. After all, the purpose of education is to restore the image of God. Redemption, the purpose, the aim of education and redemption are one. Maybe we, by God's grace, will be able to experience and be God's willing instrument to touch many lives. This is my prayer.